Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation of which leads us to a Star Wars review, and today's of which is on the TIE Crawler from 2007. So, starting off with the only way that we get in this set, or is who we get two of in this set, and it is two of the Shadow Troopers, who we've never seen any in any other sets, except for the 10th anniversary uh, landing craft from, from last year, 2019, of course. Also did get in the, like, Imperial Dropship Battle Pack, same thing, but in 2008, well, the next year, of course. But besides that, the, uh, the helmet, the Prince of Witch, done quite great, really cool. Like with the kind of chromish eyes, of course, and torso print done quite good. Black leg print and back torso print also done good. See, holding a small rifle there. And if you look underneath, plain black head, not an angry clone face, of course. So, and I think that is about it with that. And so for the uh, tie crawler itself, oh, it's a quite cool one. As for the front cockpit area, which is quite similar to the, which they use with a lot of different tie fighter sets over the years, of course. But it has a couple of like uh, cylinders and cones uh, above. Well, probably make it a little different and all. And also similar one also just with other. One's the dish piece, of course. And well, and it can rise up, of course. And there's a little lever and another cone piece acting as its controls. And enough space to fit your uh, trooper into, of course. Oops. But as look at the tread things to the sides, is you can see it has quite a ton of the blue, yeah, regular blue uh, plates and uh, uh, also long jagged slopes, of course. And if you look at this one over here, you can extend out and get a couple little blasters in there, but they don't shoot or anything. But at least good for show, of course. And of course, the blue of which has been a big staple of most TIE Fighter sets over time until uh, the Rogue Shadow in 2008 and then uh, Vader's TIE advance in 2009, of course, which got rid of that and went to gray, obviously. And of course, inside of these also has kind of the same thing, but also other jagged slopes, of course, so at least it has a good supply of the jagged slopes. But if we look at the whole thing from the back, is have some of those uh, cornered bricks, which we haven't seen in a long time, so good to see them here. And also some astromech droid heads, and split, probably acting as like bombs or something. And, and so for the, the couple of features, is you have this long rod here sticking out where you can press that and it acts as an early flick fire missile at least until the actual ones in 2008 or later in the following year 2008 of course and the couple of main features is uh, has the tiny uh, tread pieces kind of like on the tank droids of course and my finisher is this real bright uh, good thing. So, the maneuverability. And also unique is that you can turn it up, turn it upwards, and also forwards like that. So you can get kind of the side, this effect moves going for it. Which, so it's quite a fun set. And also, Fun different form of TIE fighters, of course. 
And so for the final verdict is this I think a cool set of 2007 like at least another expanded universe set which we don't seem to see much anymore but at least it's nice to have at the time of course and you get two shout troopers of which good for your imperial armies of course and good amount of blue jacket slopes for mocking obviously at least they even though that kind of went away from other tie fire sets obviously and also at least good to have some diversity in collecting, uh, of course. There's an so if y'all still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to this set, then I'd say truly go ahead and get it. Like eBay Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.